Today we're going to be removing this implant in a number four site. You can see it's a little bit mobile. This was an immediate implant and provisional. Um, and then there was some bone loss and some infection, a repair, and, um, and now we're going to be um, removing this implant, grafting this socket, and then trying to reconstruct this area so he can get an implant in here. And we're going to place this fixture now. Okay, if any of this bothers you, just let me know, all right? Okay, so you can see what I've done here. I took the, the inside of the flap and I just moved it out and we trimmed it. But that kind of extended my flap a little bit over the uh, extraction socket. So I had a stay plate with a ridge lot there and we just adjusted that so it's pointing out of the way. This was an immediate implant with an immediate provisional. Um, looking at this, the implant the crest, the, the coronal edge of the implant is right at the CEJ of the other teeth. Well, there's plenty of room to place the implant further up, and um, that would have been nice to place it further up. Um, I spoke with a dentist that did this implant, and he said that there was infection and no palatal bone, and uh, probably not a good indication to do an immediate implant at all, um, unless you could really bury it. And um, but anyway, um, and then it got infected, and so this patient did lose quite a bit of hard and soft tissue. Um, so we'll try to get it back to where we can do an implant. We're gonna, not going to get a lot of soft tissue back, but but uh, hopefully we'll get a good amount of bone back so we can do the implant later. This is a two-week healing of the implant removal and bone graft in the number four site. And we'll take a look at the x-ray next. So we'll be checking this out in two months.
is the two and a half month healing at the removal of the implant and bone graft. We'll take a look at the x-ray next and uh, we'll be doing the imp uh, implant placement in about a month. So this is the healing we've gotten from extracting that implant and doing the bone grafting and things look really good. Okay. Done our, mm -hmm. our tissue point. No water vibration again. This is the uh, restoration on the implant that was replaced in the number four area and this is a just over two year follow up. We'll take a look at the x-ray next. So here's our x-ray today after just over two years and here's our x-ray from eight months ago. This is our original x-ray, the um, failed implant, immediate implant and provisional. The extraction and bone grafting that we did Here's the healing of the um, extraction of the implant and bone grafting prior to implant placement. Here's our replaced implant. <laughs> 